Welcome back to another tutorial. We are going to be making a daisy skirt block. Your width of the pattern should be half hip measurement plus one inch allowance. So my hip measurement is 38, divided by two is 19 plus one inch, which is 20 inches. So this is what I'm marking across the pattern paper. So here I'm marking the hip depth, the vertical measurements, your hip depth and your full length of skirts. So mine is 17 and a half and my hip depth is 8. So you mark that across the pattern like so. Now in the front pattern, we are going to mark our waist measurements. Waist divided by 4, that's quarter of your waist measurement by 4. So mine is 32 divided by 4, which is 8. Mark your 8 on your hip quarter of your hip divided by four you mark the same measurement of your hip down at the full length connect both lines together the hip line and the waist, full length line then using the french curve connect your waist measurements to the hip measurements like so so your front gets partially ready now heading towards the back pattern Starting from the seam line there, we'll mark our waist measurement as quarter of your waist measurement. Then going down to the hip line, we'll mark quarter of the hip measurement. Repeat the hip measurement at the waist, at the sorry, at the full length position and connect both lines together and please do note there are some patterns where you can where you actually see the back pattern bigger than the front pattern this is because of the allowances that were added at the waistline so, but for this pattern, I am not adding so much allowance to it. But when you are drafting yours, you do make sure and do remember to add enough allowance at side seam. Because once you're taking your that, your pattern will become smaller around the waist especially. So, you mark your waist measurement, quarter <coughs> of your waist measurement. You can add your that measurement at that side too, preferably. But make sure once you are adding, once you are drafting, your own pattern and transferring it on your main fabric please do add allowance at the side seams enough allowance at the side seam so connect the waistline to the hip line so we are going to be marking the zip allowance please do not forget that zip allowance connect the line i'll be using one inch for my zip allowance and the center back so from that same line at the back you mark your dart that i use for fitting of the skirt at the waistline so the length of my dart is four inches so from the seam line to the middle of the pattern is four inches you could do the same thing at the front pattern too. The length of marking of the dart is 4 inches too. Connect the lines together. For proper fitting, you take half inch at both sides. Half inch at both sides. And connect. This is for proper fitting of the waistline. So this is me adding the same allowances at both front and back pattern. This is just half inch at both sides. So make sure you add enough seam allowance. Preferably two inches after you've taken in your darts. Preferably two inches after you've taken in your dart measurements. Because once you take in your dart measurement, your waistline will become smaller. So you need to add two inches at the sides of your seam pattern allowance. 
we have the center front the side front side back and your straight skirt block is ready there's the front and the back the side seams and the darts once you're taking your darts your side your waist your waistline or your waist measurement will become smaller so make sure you add enough allowance at the side so for the front for this front um, skirt we are going to remove half inch on the center front like so and connect that line using the french curl to the side seam this is because this is around the stomach area and our stomach area or our tummy area is curvy so it is not actually straight compared to the back so it has to be in a slanted form that is the main reason why you're taking half inch down please do remember to add allowance to this pattern the pattern the allowance of this pattern is actually very small and this is because it's just a sample just basically because of the tutorial so this is, that is actually a simple straight skirt now if you want to shape in the back of your skirt you don't want it to be straight to make the back of your skirt curvy just at the waistline taking two centimeters inside at the waistline two centimeters and connect to the hip line like you seen connect to the hip line two centimeters and connect to the hip line and you know that the darts will definitely be affected so make sure you shift the darts mark the dart from that point that you're taking in to the other position now at the full length taking two centimeters inside sorry two inches inside and connect to the hip line connect that line to the hip line that will be your new seam line for the back that will be your new seam line for the back if you want to shape in the back of your skirt Now, this is basically a pencil skirt pattern though for this type of system so you realize that your zip allowance won't be the same so you start from where you take your new line then you take your zip allowance from there just mark your one inch so definitely it's going to be curvy so this is me marking the green line so you cut your pattern on the green line and your simple baby skirt is ready I hope you understand from this point please do like share subscribe and comment for any suggestions and any contribution to grow my channel and we will improve more on our videos thank you for watching i hope you learned something new today